How do you consolidate Western Kenya? The people of Western Kenya have little difficulties in getting consolidated and in standing together. Really? Then why, the why problem hasn't it worked so has far? been, in fact, uh, your historical facts may be incorrect. Mm -hmm. If you may uh, look back at 2002, Western Kenya, under the leadership of Wamala Kijana, voted for NAC en masse. The only seat in the entire Western region that we didn't win as NAC was Nambale, which was uh, won by Kano, Chris Okemo. Everything else went to NAC. One would argue the came, politics of 2002 are rather different from what came we're looking at last year, but why? No, no, no. The, the dynamism of politics must be looked at in totality because okay. if you isolate each incident from the other, then you will not have the aggregate of what you are looking for. Came 2007, the bulk of the people of Western admittedly voted for Ayn Odinga. Uh, and those of us, went th those of us who stood with... Uh, no, Musali was not a candidate at that time. He was... Uh, Oh, that's for 2013. Tw yes. Yes. In 2013, again, the majority of Western voted for Raila, the but formation in which I was. Vote, it's a rich yes. uh, basket. Uh, I can tell you this. So you're not managing to get all of these votes in one. The questions of I have uh, every yeah. hope. Yeah. In fact, I'm very optimist, uh, optimistic that uh, come the next elections, the people of the Mlembe Nation will put their votes in one basket. But that is not the big picture. The big picture is how do we, as the Mlembe nation, join up with other like-minded nations of this country to bring change that is meaningful, that is helpful, that is beneficial. Are you in support of uh, this Lutessa? Well, Lutessa is nothing new. This is something that uh, has been there for the last 10 years as to whether uh, lawyers, Tesos, and uh, Sabouts can uh, vote together and work together. There are times we have voted together, there are times we haven't voted together. I have uh, no reason to doubt that uh, the agenda is, 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 is good, is positive, and uh, anything that brings the people of this country together, I will support, as mm -hmm. long as uh, it is not balkanizing the country the way I see Jubilee regime trying to mismanage the ethnic diversity of this country by being uh, narrow-minded and inward-looking. How so? Uh, if you look at uh, since they came into power, they have literally excluded communities from mainstream uh, leadership of this country. Even when... Uh, uh, but is this a problem brought on by Jubilee or is it an issue that has been there historically? And the PSC chair was arguing the other day as they released the results of the composition in public service. It's yeah. one they're trying to rectify now. Those compositions by the PSC chair are fraudulent, they're dishonest, and they're totally, totally uh, lacking in uh, what I would call... Uh, the, 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 the real issues that affect this country. Okay. You cannot go to a community like the Luya and pick a hundred tea girls and a hundred watchmen employed manually by the government mm -hmm. and compare them to ten managing directors from another community and say, you see these tea girls represent a much higher percentage in public uh, employment than those with 10 managing directors. Mm -hmm. You can't compare uh, oranges with apples or compare apples with mangoes. You must compare like with like. Who runs uh, a public enterprise in this country that are quasi-government? Look at even cabinet, how it is set up. And my brothers uh, Uhuru and Ruto have simply sat down and say, where the minister is from your community, my, the peers will be from mine and vice versa. And you can count on and on. I mean, it's, it's open. Everybody knows. Okay. And what we have been saying is that this kind of, uh, of, of, of management of public affairs breeds exclusion. Exclusion breeds resentment. Resentment can degenerate into rebellion. Mm -hmm. And rebellion can culminate and graduate into something more nasty, which we don't want our country to go through. Because we have seen examples in other countries where exclusion has led the country towards uh, 
a, a cool desert and an abyss that has taken time to recover. And yet, you know, we believe that uh, the, the new generation of leaders, uh, those uh, independence struggle leaders, had a different philosophy. This new generation of leaders who have grown up in independence Kenya, one would expect that they do not uh, look at the country with ethnic blinkers, but unfortunately that is what's